Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is episode 15. <laughs> Had to double check there for a second. And we're continuing our playthrough of Chrono Trigger. We just finished up the factory. We picked up some new weapons. Robo got the ever living snot kicked out of him, and we exacted retribution. And now we're about to go through the time gate, we four, to see what happens next. So. Here we go. Bam! Do a little dance. Make a little love. Get down tonight. Get a copy strike. Oh, wait, sorry. <laughs> and it appears something very weird has happened. Where are we? Oh, <laughs> there's the question from the character's mouth. Where are we? All right. No, that's right. It won't let me interact with these until I start talking to people and doing things. All right, sleepy old man. Old man. Ah, more drifters. Drifters? Where are we? It's not a question of where, my friends, so much as when. This is the end of time. Travelers lost in time's flow turn up here, much like driftwood on a beach. Might I ask when you are from? <laughs> We're from 1000 AD. I come from the year 2300 AD. When four or more entities of varying origins enter a temporal rift together, the torsion exerted on time slow pushes them to the point of least resistance. Here. In other words, the game's trying to tell you you can only have a party size of three, and yada, yada, yada. This is how we're going to make that happen. It's okay. There have been a number of folks turning up here unintended recently, like yourselves. I fear something is having a powerful effect on the very fabric of time. All in due time, good sir. Which means it would be safest if one of us stayed here. Here? Alone? It is a bleak place, isn't it? But not to worry. For all its desolation, it is well connected. There are roads here to any time you could ever wish to visit. Should you so desire, you can call upon your friends at any time. But you can never travel in groups of more than three. One of us must remain. Who will it be, Chrono? All right, um... Hmm... Everybody's level 12. Let's leave a robo behind for now. I'll be happy to assist you whenever you have need. Well, that is the way of things. Should you desire to switch party members, you can do so via the main menu whenever you wish. Thank you, fourth wall break. How do we get back to our own time? You saw the pillars of light when you arrived, yes? Each connects this place to a different era. Once you've been through a gate, you can use it to return here whenever you wish. Step back into the light and press A once more and you will return to the gate. Which is why, before we get too deep into more of the game, we're actually going to do a little backtracking and connect up a couple of the gates that we've used already so they get back here. Uh, that'll help us later on and uh, avoid a little bit of walking hither and yon. Once you've been through a gate, you can use it to return here whenever you wish. Step back into the light and press A once more and you'll return to the gate. But beware, the gate connected to that bucket. <laughs> oh, that's it? That's all you got? Beware, the gate connected to the bucket. Da, 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 da. Hit point and magic point restored. Um, did it also get... Okay, good. Good, good, good. Robo is also fully healed. I was kind of worried about that. And while we're here, let us also save the game. Overwrite. Yep. And we've got a couple other things to do. Now, that gate over there at the bucket that I'm not going to touch, that is another way to go straight to Lavos. Uh, one of the ways that the game changes the endings, depending on what you do, is it all depends on when you attack Lavos. And 
And so you'll get one ending if you do it from the end of time. You'll get another ending if you do it from 1999. You'll get another one from 1000 AD and so on and so forth. So that is one of the ways that you can get different endings. The nice thing is uh, when you complete the game, you'll get a new game plus option that will let you continue with the, well, most of the equipment that and levels that you finished with the last game. So you'll start a new game, you'll start at the beginning, but if you were at level 40, you'll stay at level 40 and just continue on from there, which is a nice way to go about it because it lets you explore the different endings without having to grind your level up and then jump in at 1000 AD. Grind your level up and then try it again at, you know, so on and so forth. And... And except for items that you get through quests, you'll start with all the other weapons that you normally have. So in other words, uh, later on, we're going to have to quest to get a special sword to do a special thing. And that won't follow you with the new game plus. So you'll want to make sure that um, you, you look up what things will continue. So that way you can keep the item immediately before that. In your inventory that way you'll have it when you go to do the uh, the major quest the next go round. also we'll find out what that's all about in a little bit but first let's go through this door here it's firmly sealed wait what I thought that's how we uh, firmly sealed you saw the pillars of light when you arrived okay Hey. You needn't be in such a rush. Before you go, have a look past the door behind me. That's what I was trying to do, old man. This guy. Now, this guy is an interesting character. If you can get to him while you're still any character level between 1 and 9. Technically speaking, if the lead person in your party which by default up until a certain point is Chrono, uh, if the lead person in your party is any character level from 1 to 9. And every 10 level band, he has a new form, which gives you new benefits for fighting him and beating him. So this is the one for 10 through 19. Come back again when you're level 20, and he'll be something different, and you'll have new prizes for beating him at 20 through 29, and so on for 30 through 39. It, you get the idea. So uh, let's talk to him and find out what he's got for me. What you looking at? Me? I'm Spikyo, the master of war. I watch all kinds of battles from here. How do I look to you? Strong. I see. How I look depends on how strong you are. If you're strong, I look strong. If you're weak, I look weak. Hmm. Oh, you've got it in you, don't you? That must be why the old guy let you through. See, a long, long time before you were born, there was a kingdom where magic flourished. Everyone there could use it. But the people abused their powers and ended up destroying the place. After that, there wasn't anyone left who could use magic. Well, except in fiends, of course. But you have it, that inner strength, I mean. Magic needs power of the heart. That's where it flows from. Who would have thought that that... The guy that you thought was the useless tag-along in Captain Planet turns out to be... Oh, oh wait, no. Wrong magic of the heart. <laughs> there are four types of magic. Fire, water, light, and shadow. Not everyone's got the same type. Now, this guy teaches you magic, as we're about to find out. So as new characters get in the party, we'll have to come back here. I'm going to take Robo up, but I don't think... Uh, I don't think he actually learns magic, if I remember right. You with the punk hairdo... You've got light. The gal with the ponytail has the power of water. That girl with goofy glasses, her power is fire. Fire. By the way, it's not just magic. Everything is made up of those four elements. All right, starting from the door, circle clockwise along the walls of my room three times and say, I want to use magic over and over in your head. All right, clockwise three times. Don't lose track now. Three times. Don't want you turning yourselves into butter. All right. So we're going to go corner to corner. 
corner. One. To corner. Two. Corner. Three. Well done. <laughs> that is the weirdest magical assessment I've ever seen, but okay. Ipso facto minimo magico. <laughs> Chrono learn to use magic. Marley learn to use magic. Luca learn to use magic. So, all fortify with magic? Want to try it out? Yes, please. All right. So now on the tech, we should have lightning. Miss? Oh, that's right, the counterattack. Bam! And there's our fire. And our ice. Oh, and Krona's dead. Oops. How did I miss that? I was too busy looking at other stuff. That's how that happened. Uh-oh. I don't think I'm going to get this one. I was too busy looking at other stuff. I needed to get a little bit quicker on the fights. Yikes. Probably should have used a few potions between here and there, but uh, I figure it's a dead loss either way. Hee <laughs> hee. I win. You make any new friends, you bring them to see me, you hear? I like you guys. Alright, so let's do this first. Hey. What you got, old man? Well, well, it seems I was right. People who lived long ago enjoyed such powers, you know? Yes, long, long ago. Well, I know you must be eager to finish this thing you seem so intent on doing, but why not first pay a visit back to your own era? Haste makes waste, as they say, and you'll find that even truer here. Come and see me whenever you have the need. Think of me as your guide on Time's Road. All right, so let's do this first. Let's, uh... Store hit points and magic points. Let's get Robo in the party real quick. And we'll trade them out. We'll bring Robo in to see him. What's with this big clunky thing? Sorry, buddy, but, well, you aren't alive. You've got great inner strength for what it's worth. It's just you aren't descended from the ancient magic users, so you're never going to be able to cast spells. Your laser weapons and whatnot should suffice, though. They can inflict shadow damage, kind of like shadow magic. What do you want? You looking for some practice? Yes. All right. All right, let's try to double in and focus on the fight. Let's also try to get a couple of the healing techs in. Combo. R-beam. Bam. Back lightning. Goodness. That took him out quick, didn't it? Attack. Oh, live long enough. Nope. I might not be uh, of an appropriate one to do this. I, I, can, I can take him on any time between level 1 and, or sorry, level 11 and uh, 19 to get the thing that he offers at this form. So it is possible that um, rather than continuing to do that over and over and over again, let's restore everything. Let's go ahead and get Luca back in the party. And now that we've got magic, let us save. All right, the existing data, yep. And what we're gonna do is, this one takes us to, uh, 
All right, so that takes us to Medina Village in 1000 AD. We do want to get there, but not just yet. This one takes us to the Mystic Mountains in 65 million BC. Um, in the comments to a previous YouTube video, I got a hint that there's a very good way to level up very quickly over there. You'll have to check out the comments to see what that hint is. I may do that as the grind between live streams. Uh, it just depends on where I'm at level-wise as we finish up this uh, today's live stream and this week's episode. So we're not going there just yet. What we're going to do is we're going to go back to Protodome for two reasons. The first of which being right outside the gate should now be a power tab. Maybe not yet. Okay. Uh, regardless of... The, oh, everybody's... Yes, okay. Everybody's got all their uh, magic and hit points back. Figured I'd check on that before we got there. What we want to do is we actually want to go back to the, uh, the dome with the other gate that we originally hit on the way over here so we can connect it up to the end of time. And that way we've got... Uh, a way to get from one side of this to the other without having to do the great race. Um, uh, let's see. We're 16 minutes in. Let me go ahead and... No, I'm not going to try to run across. Let's do the race. Because this has been uh, quick enough. I, I will eventually want to go walk across because I think if I remember right, there's a box or something in there that uh, that you can get. Oh. Dude. Yeah, well, 300, two. There we go. <laughs> I was getting a little worried there. Yeah, I think we're going to have just enough time to connect up some gates, and uh, and then we'll have to call it a um, an episode. Not a live stream. we still got three more episodes to record. But um, I'm trying to keep an eye on time and trying to keep the episodes down to about 25 minutes on average. That's the goal. Last week, I totally blew through that. Just about every one of them was about a half hour, if not a little bit longer. So that's the sewers. We're not going to go visit the uh, Aris Dome just yet. But, uh, yeah, it looks like we're going to have to fight our way through the city. Either way. So let's go back through Site 16. Oh, yeah. We got actual magic that we can uh, zap these guys with. Bam! Field lightning. Oh, that's right. He's got the... <laughs> there we go. Done. I mean, I'm happy to get the XP and the money. Learn Antipod Bomb Dual Tech? Uh, okay, so he's got three new dual techs right now. Aura Whirl, which restores a small amount of hit points to everybody. Fire Whirl, that does the Circle of Fire. And Supersonic Spin, Cyclone, and Laser. Okay. Marley's got our Whirl, Antipod, Bomb. Oh, that's probably the, the newly revised name from what it used to be. It's enemies in circle with fire and ice. An R beam is another cure everybody. Luca's got the fire whirl and antipod bomb. He's got the supersonic. Oh. I should be doing more with uh, Robo and Luca in the same party. You know what? Let's do that right now. Let's go ahead and party. Let's switch her out. So these two can start learning some dual text together. I mean, since we gotta wander through here and do the fights anyway, right? Because this is how, yeah, they gotta earn tech points together in order to get the dual and triple techs. That's it. Whack his kneecap. There I am trying to be stingy on magic points. 
I really should be uh, just nuking the bugger and going. 22 XP, one tech point, 30 gold, fire punch dual tech. Yeah, baby. Nope, nope, that's not the way I want to go. Ooh. All right, and let's get in a combo. Let's go ahead and do the supersonic spin, see how that goes. Doesn't matter. They all did. Bam. I do eventually want to get these guys their triple tech too. Alright, don't forget, avoid the rats. <laughs> Combo. Fire whirl. Bam. Oh, this is about to be a big old waste of magic points, isn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah, do the disco spin. I mean, the laser whirl. <laughs> Alright, there we go. 75 XP, money, gold, Luca's level increased. Nice. Alright, we're doing this fight anyway, right? Yep, okay. And he's going to die in a counterattack, it looks like. Oh, come on, Robo. I want to do the supersonic spin, because that will hit everybody in one shot. And that should finish them all off in one shot as well. Right? Bam. Bam. Nope. Almost all of them. Bam. And one more attack should do it. Except he's going to keep sucking life out of people. Well, except for that part. <laughs> okay, there we go. 62 XP, 4 tech points, 140 gold, and an ether. Is it an ether bunny? Oop. Avoid the rats. Alright, so far so good. And let's do our supersonic spin. Trying to get these guys all in one shot too. Because this is taking a little bit longer than I thought it was going to take. I thought I had enough time to hurry up and do this before the episode's over. We're already 22 minutes in. Yikes. Alright, 64 XP. 4 tech points. Gold. Ether. Levels. And all sorts of other nice stuff, right? All right, good. So that means we need to get... No, Banger Dome was the person. Trandome. No, Trandome was the people. Maybe Banger Dome was the portal. Right, yep, there we go. And this will go... to the end of time, I hope. Yep, there we go. So now we got our two new portals, so that'll go to Banger Dome, and this should go back to the Guardia Forest. And this should be a little bit quicker to get to. Alright, where's my way out of the forest? Never mind. <laughs> I guess I can't go home just yet. There's nowhere left to run. Ah. I thought we were done with this. I guess I hadn't forgotten. Fine. I'll get the other portal later. Because <sighs> I wanted to get the other portal that goes to uh, 600 AD over in the fair before we get too far. So, actually, while I'm here, let me get the free refill on hit point and magic point. 
Let's get the save in the end of time. Yep. All right. So I got half the portals done. Uh, I'm not going to worry too much about fighting Sepiko right now. I'll try to get my levels up to maybe 15, 16, see if I can manage it then. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and hit on over to the credits. And this is where I say thank you for joining along so far. If you're watching on Twitch or Mixer, hang tight. There's still a couple more episodes to come. If you want to watch live, I stream Thursdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. There's a link in the description below. If you haven't already, follow in Twitch or Mixer to get notified when I go live. And definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel. It helps the channel out and you'll get notified when new episodes and other content get posted. I, uh, every Thursday, I stream the recording of the next six episodes and trickle them out on YouTube day by day. And then do another live stream on Thursday. So, live folks, give me a minute to prep the next episode. YouTube folks, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>